declare that Keir Mather is duly elected. Labour's newest Member of Parliament was seven years old when his party last won a British general election. We have rewritten the rules on where Labour can win. 25-year-old Keir Maher overturned a Conservative majority of more than 20,000 in a by-election in the north of England. His party hopes this is a taste of what's to come. You voted for change. You put your trust in the Labour Party. And we hear you. We hear that cry for change away from the chaos, away from those rising bills, the crumbling public services. That Sarah Joanne Dyke has been duly elected the Conservatives lost two of three seats in by-elections on Thursday. The governing party held on just to the Uxbridge seat of former Prime Minister Boris Johnson. He resigned after he was found to have misled Parliament over parties in his residence during the pandemic lockdowns. Westminster has been acting like the next election is a done deal. The Labour Party has been acting like it's a done deal. The people of Uxbridge just told all of them that it's not. But his party only won here because of local anger at the extension of a scheme from Labour's London mayor that imposes heavy fees on people using older, more polluting cars. Nationwide, Labour leads the Conservatives by more than 20% in the latest polling. So already you can hear and smell the nerves of the Tory backbenchers now exploding into more full-blown terror as they realise that their job prospects are truly endangered. You can know that any Tory MP now that has a majority of about 15,000 is basically toast unless things dramatically change. Strikes over pay, high inflation, rising mortgage rates are all fueling voter frustration with the government. I, just, I think they get wiped out. What they've done to Labour last time will perhaps turn round. I think people want change, don't they? I mean, everything's going downhill at the moment. Rishi Sunak has perhaps about 12 months to turn his party's fortunes around. There's speculation there'll be a general election by November next year. But it's going to be an uphill battle. The Conservative Party has been in power for 13 years and is struggling to point to any achievements. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Uxbridge.